we have provided the geometry and the mesh as a WBPZ file that can be loaded into ANSYS. Download the WBPZ file using the link on the tutorial page and then double click on the download which should look like that to bring up Workbench. Double click on Geometry. Let's take a look at what's in Geometry. This is a two-dimensional surface so I'll just uh, right click I'll say View, Front View. Let's go down the tree here to understand um, what's come in. So if I expand XY plane and highlight the sketch um, so I can turn off, I can just turn on the sketch and turn off the model. So the sketch is basically the sketch of the outer domain. And you can see in, if you look at the, if you go to sketching and look at dimensions, you can see the dimensions and you will see essentially that the outer boundary is put 12 and a half cord lengths away from the airfoil. Let me go back to the tree. So go back to the modeling tab and highlight curve two. And if I zoom in here, that's the airfoil. And it's been read in from a coordinates file we will provide you with this coordinates file so that you can take a look at its format. It's a text file. And this is a surface that's been created from this curve that's been read in. So in this view, it would be the region, surf1 would be the region highlighted in blue. This surface uh, is basic is created from the sketch so it's the sketch of the outer domain um, it would include the the light blue as well as the gray area in this view and then you have to do a boolean to subtract out the area enclosed by the airfoil from that you know that total area and you get this area between the airfoil the region between the airfoil and the outer domain, which is where, you know, which is the flow domain we are modeling. And that is what is passed forth to the solver. So let me skip down to the bottom here for um, a second and then I'll, then I'll come back to these. So under, over here, I see I have a surface body. If I highlight it, it's essentially, and I turn off the sketch, it's essentially the region between the airfoil and this outer domain. That's a flow domain and that's what is being passed on to the measure which you know uh, which is used to chop this up into control volumes or cells. It also creates a quote-unquote line body um, corresponding to the airfoil surface uh, or you know in this region it's, it's just a curve and we don't want that to be um, passed on to the measure or the solver. It, it's going to confuse the solver. So we need to suppress that and you do that by right clicking and saying suppress. So this is what is passed on to the measure and the solver and it's been set to fluid, uh, which is good practice. And if you come down here, these are named selections. So the, the boundaries have been labeled. Um, so if I go here, I can see far field one is that uh, part that's highlighted in green. Far field two is the part um, through which is through which the flow goes out. This is the lower surface of the airfoil. This is the upper surface of the airfoil. It would also have been good to give a name selection to the um, the region uh, to you know to the flow domain. Um, that's not being done here. You can see that you know one can give name selections in uh, within design model or one can do it in in the measure here it's been done in the um, within the within design model itself the geometry engine. We have so surface body is basically a key element of the mathematical model 
it's the domain over which we want our complex governing equations to be solved.